Hey guys, it's Kristen. Hopefully you've been following along with my videos about my scuba diving adventure. Everything has led up to this moment right now as we arrive at Roatan to go diving the whole week with the Salt Life crew. I've been coming here for a long time and I have it has a special place in, in my heart. Well, we happened to uh, strike a partnership with the Roatan Marine Park for, for the next three years and I hope a lot more years to be able to give back and help them protect this reef. So once we started this, I thought this would be a good way for us to kick off this partnership and take my team members who I've kind of told them what we were doing, but they didn't fully, yeah, they thought, yeah, this is pretty good. Jeff's got a pretty good idea, but we're not really sure about what it all is to bring them down and let them see it and why it needs to be protected. We ended the first night with a beach bonfire as we prepared for our dive the next morning. I'm so excited for this morning. It's beautiful here. You wake up and it's just stunning. The weather's perfect, the water is perfect, the clear, and it's gonna be a great day. I'm so pumped. We headed over to West Bay Divers to get our equipment and get certified to hunt lionfish. Lionfish are an invasive species and we need to spearfish them to reduce the amount of lionfish in the area. But we just want to make sure that anything that you do does not damage the reef. So we did our workshop with, with Salt Life, which was very successful. Um, we actually did a trial run, which means that they have to shoot coconuts. Um, so there's definitely some dead coconuts around the place thanks to Salt Life. We grabbed our gear and headed out. Aptly named Spooky Channel because it can be quite spooky. Really good opportunity for some swim through. This is a good practice for our second dive at Bear's Den, which has a very, very tight entrance into a very epic cave. Finally, it was time to put everything that I learned over the past month to the test. Everyone was so excited to dive the world's largest living reef. This being my first dive ever in the ocean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. Oh, come on. The second I entered the water, all my anxieties were gone and replaced by a curiosity to discover this beautiful underwater world. Sea life is just unbelievable. Lots of little fish, lots of crustaceans, crabs and lobsters, lobsters. and yeah, eagle rays. And of course, the coral is just unbelievable. There is a good mixture of hard and soft coral. At the end of the dive, Luis has spotted a lionfish and got the chance to spear it. The colors, the fish, just like watching the movement in there, it was it was incredible and it was fun, it was a fun crew to do it with. We took our catch in, which was then prepared for the big lionfish cook-off that night. It was between fried lionfish and lionfish soup. Both were delicious. We got a chance to uh, spot some lionfish mm -hmm. and uh, shoot them and actually cook them for dinner, so that was pretty cool. Actually, it went and flipped over. Enjoying the lionfish, I just shot. They're great to eat, and if you haven't tried lionfish, definitely 
try it. And if your local restaurant uh, serves fish, ask for lionfish. And if they don't serve it, maybe that'll encourage them to go out and get it because yeah. there's a big market for it. And if you increase the demand, more commercial spear fishermen and fishermen will go out there and target these fish to help remove them from the reef. We ended the night with a little dancing before we prepared for our last big dive the next day. But this wasn't just any other dive. This was a shark dive. So the night before the shark dive, every five minutes I'm changing my mind. People are like, do it, do it, do it. I was swimming with bull sharks and reef sharks and stuff like that. They don't want you. See, here's the thing though. Because with scuba diving, you can't Like you have to stay calm. So I'm afraid I'm gonna get down to the bottom and panic. It's really is nothing to worry about. You gotta keep in mind on these places that these extreme things like shark dives and you know, whatever it may be, shark dive, scuba diving, um, spear fishing, whatever it's kind of extreme. These places stay in business because people live to come back. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. But I went to bed thinking, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. And really I was just too scared, honestly. So I woke up and, well, you'll find out on the next episode of Living the Salt Life. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no way, uh-uh, I'm not doing it.